The Summer Banner treated me well and I got my House Leader, so I wanted to quickly showcase Harmonic Edelgard's Assault Troop C skill and its interactions with things like Gravity or Warp Bubble. Nothing surprising based on Assault Troop's description, but it's always good to see something work in game. As the skill states, it grants the charge test to the user. Charge lets you move three spaces in a line, but has a few conditions we will cover in this video. First up, if you don't have Edelgard, I recommend playing the Skill Studies map, Officer's Vacation. It does a good job showcasing some of Assault Troop's benefits. For one, it allows Edelgard to move through the Forest House in the top right because Assault Troop is counted as warping. Because it counts as warping, later on, when Summer Cloud attacks and applies gravity via Fallen Star, Edelgard can still move three spaces to the right. Her normal movement is one regardless since she's armored, but Assault Troop is not affected. Now let's move to my 8th raids setup. Another condition of Assault Troop is that you cannot move through terrain that blocks movement. While it counts as warping, you cannot warp over uncrossable terrain. On this map, I want to showcase Warp Bubble's interaction with Assault Troop. Warp Bubble basically denies warping within 4 spaces of the user, and yes, this blocks Assault Troop. Edelgard will be completely stopped by that invisible wall if you try to approach Mirror or Gatekeeper straight on. An interesting interaction though is that on the tip of Warp Bubble's range, you can hop over it. The two trap tiles signify the 4 space range of Warp Bubble. As you can see, Assault Troop lets Edelgard move 3 spaces to the left, but not 2. This is due to Warp Bubble. As for why she can move 1 space to the left, this is her normal movement as an arm unit. That is not warping. To exemplify this, Edelgard now has Assault Troop and Armor March. With Armor March, she can move 2 spaces to the left now since it's just normal movement with the plus 1. If Armor March gets hit by Stall, however, then we're back to the first situation. I think this is important to understand because if Assault Troop is on a Flyer or Infantry unit, yes, Warp Bubble will block the 3rd space of movement, but you don't block their regular 2 movement. It just works really well against Edelgard because she's an army unit. Before we end, I just wanted to showcase the defensive benefits of Assault Troop, mainly for Edelgard due to Raging Storm, but any Guild Force user works. I mainly talked about offensive uses in my breakdown video because moving across the entire map to bop two or more enemies is hilarious, but 3 movement lets Edelgard hit and run hilariously well. Move 3 spaces to attack, proc Raging Storm, and then move 3 spaces backwards. You could do the same with Armor March or Stry before, but man the extra space is noticeable, even if it's only in a line. That's all I got for this quick video. Harmonic Edelgard is really fun, so good luck if you're trying to get her. I will see you guys in the next one.